This is Lee Stranahan, and I'm going to continue to talk about how this New York Times story about the Twin Falls rape and the subsequent fallout, uh, the sexual assault of a five-year-old girl by three refugee boys, uh, was very, very dishonest and just lies. One of the ways that the media lies is through omission. And if you go through the story, you'll notice there aren't links or citations. It doesn't link to any of my reporting. And I'll talk about uh, the significance of this uh, a number of times in this video series. But I want to point out one detail that leaves out. You don't find the name Wendy Olson anywhere in this story. Who is she? She was the state's attorney in Idaho. And shortly after the assault, and by the way, the, the reporter, Caitlin uh, Dickerson, and I talked about this. The process, Wendy Olson was the state's attorney for Idaho. And after the assault happened, before I got onto the story, a couple months before, she made comments. This is Eugene Volok. He's a law professor at uh, UCLA. Um, he, she made comments that people spreading false information may be prosecuted. Now, this was a dangerous and outrageous statement for a state's attorney to make. Uh, there's a clear First Amendment issue here, and she was roundly chastised. This is an opinion piece in the Idaho Statesman. But nowhere in this New York Times article does it mention that this happened. And this is one of the reasons I was interested in the story. I thought that the local people's story was being suppressed, including by the government. Now, I do talk about it in this story that I covered from Twin Falls. And this story is not linked anywhere. It includes a video interview talking about what happened. And it also includes this radio interview between Steve Bannon and I. So I would urge you to listen to that. Uh, this is going to come up a number of times in the story because she also, uh, the writer from the New York Times, also mischaracterized statements I make in this radio interview. But it's a good question for the New York Times and Caitlin Dickerson. Why didn't you talk about what Wendy Olson did?